when you're just about to record a video and someone calls and your mom is on the phone and now you can hear her because of her loud Portuguese voice. Hello, Starlet Souls. I hope you're all having a lovely evening. I'm not sure if I want to do this video soft-spoken or whispering, so I'm gonna start soft-spoken and then I might switch it up. We'll see how I feel. Also, my window's open because it's October now, um, so bye-bye AC, <laughs> um, which means you might hear some traffic. It's like distant, but you might hear it, but hopefully that doesn't bother you and you find it soothing. Okay, so today's video is going to be a what's in my bag slash purse video. I see a lot of these done um, on other ASMR channels and I'm such a follower that I just wanted to do it too. Also, it seems like a really quick uh, idea for a video, so why not? Okay, we will start with my bag. I will show you my bag really big. I like big purses. <laughs> this is my bag. <laughs> Just a big, huge black bag, basically. It's really nothing fancy. Um, I got it at Old Navy years ago, I think, but I love it. It's so big. It holds so much. And, um, sometimes I just need a lot of stuff with me. Like after work, if I go to a friend's house, I'll bring like a change of clothes and it will just fit in my purse. I won't need to bring another bag. See? I think my only complaint is that it's just one massive pocket. Okay. I had to stop the video because there was a dog barking for about five minutes. Anyways, as I was saying, sometimes things get lost in my purse because it's just one massive pouch. And then I have to dig through the whole purse, take everything out, because usually the thing that I need is at the bottom of the purse. Because that's usually just how things go. Anyway, let's start. Once again, this is the bag. Some interesting sounds already. Okay. So the first thing in this, I have a little side pocket. That's the only other pocket in the purse. Just a little pocket. Oh. What do you know? We have lip gloss. Because I don't go anywhere without lip gloss. So I have my Kylie Cosmetics. Um, high gloss in OU Fancy. Let's put some on actually because I haven't put on it any yet. This makes an exceptionally great sound. Okay. The first item. Moving on. Actually, you know what? We'll keep this close by in case I need to reapply during the video. The next item in my tiny pouch. Oh, yes! Okay, so this past weekend I went to go visit um, a girlfriend of mine on her farm because her husband travels for work sometimes and he's gone right now. So she was getting lonely with her kids. So. I went and visited for the weekend, and we always like 
munch out on junk food. It's just like a tradition. We used to be roommates. It's what we do. So I went to Bulk Barn and I got some candy and chocolate and I got these. Do you know what they are? Okay. Sorry, itchy. So this is a warhead. These are amazing. They remind me of my childhood. They're so good and sour. Alright, so... You know what? Why don't I open this? And eat one. And you can watch my crazy sour face. Alright. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I can only eat like one or two of these at a time. They're so sour. Okay. Put that up there. Here it is. Oh, so good. <laughs> okay. This is going to take me about 15 minutes to eat now. Okay. They take forever to dissolve. So, I think I'm just going to throw it out. So, yes. We have some, the one I just ate was black cherry, and I also have blue raspberry and watermelon. right in the garbage. Okay. Moving on. Oh, it always leaves this like weird film on your like on your teeth after. One second. for any specific reason or if I just have dry eyes I'm gonna keep you guessing it's just something that's in my purse think of it what you will it's also the triple action So have one more lip gloss. Actually, let's apply it because my lip gloss came off when I ate that candy. This one is from ColourPop. This is my so juicy lip gloss, and this one doesn't have a fun wand. It's just one of those. Bag. 
with um, shiny. toothbrushes. I don't know why I have two. I don't think I've ever used this one. Yeah, just for when I travel and go visit my friends. Um, I don't have to like always pack my own toothbrush that's in my bathroom. I just have one ready to go. Um, because sometimes I carry wound care supplies with me and sometimes I just need some scissors. So, that's fun. I thought I could do a whole video. Snipping. Okay, and then the other items in that bag are my EpiPens. I have two of them. What's the saying? Orange to the... Orange to the sky? No, I don't know. There's like a saying though, like something to the thigh something to the sky so you know what end goes in. I've never used it, luckily. Um, but yeah, so funny story. I've had two anaphylactic episodes. They were 11 years apart. I have no known food allergies. Like, uh, the first one was way back in university, about 13 years ago now. Um, I had just eaten a lean cuisine and it was, uh, just like a shrimp and pasta lean cuisine. And then like moments after eating it, I was like watching TV and I just started like scratching the crap out of my face. And then I was like, okay, something's not right. Like, I feel like my face is swelling. I went to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I didn't, I looked like a monster. Like it was weird. So I, I called my mom because I didn't know what to do. I didn't have a car. And she lived like three hours away from me. So she was just like, take a cold bath. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't listen to her. I got off the phone with her and then I called my friend who lived across town. But she had a car. And um, my throat was starting to close at this point. My tongue was swelling. And I was basically like, I need you to bring me to a clinic ASAP. So she came and got me. I had a clinic, there was a walk-in clinic down my street, luckily, like, far down, but close enough. Um, and I remember walking in, and the waiting room was full of people. There was probably, like, 15 people waiting, and the receptionist took one look at me, and they just, like, shooed me into this room and injected me with needles in both arms, like steroids, or whatever it was, I don't know, whatever they inject you with when you're having an anaphylactic reaction. It was so terrifying. Um, and then it didn't happen again for 11 years. Like I ate shrimp again after that. Nothing happened. I never ate another lean cuisine because I was like, that's weird. Maybe it was like a sulfite or a preservative or something. Um, but then it happened on Father's Day in 2017. We were... Um, I think, yeah, people were coming to our house, like my sister and her family were coming to my parents' house. So I had just gotten here, um, or I spent the night, I don't remember. Anyway, I woke up in the morning, I had a glass of orange juice and an apple turnover from Costco. And like within 10 minutes, the same thing happened. My, I started getting hives like all over my body. My throat started swelling. 
my dad like rushes me to the hospital, which is about a five minute drive from our house. And this is on Father's Day too. So he's like freaking out, like not what you want to see your daughter go through on Father's Day. And the doctor in the ER literally told me that if I hadn't have gone to see them, like I could have been dead within minutes. I don't think it was that bad, but apparently it could have been. So they gave me a prescription for two EpiPens. And then um, they gave me a referral to go see an allergist. So I went and saw the allergist like six months later because the waiting list was insane. And um, she did like the prick test on both my arms. And it came back that I was not allergic to any food. I was only allergic to cats, grass, ragweed, like that's it, mildew, whatever. I wasn't allergic to food though, and it was food that set me off both times. So the doctor, the allergist said, I might have this condition where your body just randomly goes anaphylaxis and you never know when it's going to happen. So yeah, fun times. So I carry these with me just in case. Better safe than sorry. So random. Okay, I'm just gonna put everything back in the bag. <clears throat> okay. The next thing. my makeup bag. Oh, my bag's gonna fall. Okay. So of course I have a whole bunch of makeup um, on my desk if you've watched my videos. But of course I carry makeup bags with me in my purse. I have three that I just randomly will grab. They're all loaded with different stuff. And yeah, so I guess I got this one from Sephora. It would have been a while ago because I haven't been to Sephora in at least over a year. It's way too expensive for me. The back is just like this red fabric. I know some people like zipper sounds. is loaded with makeup. We're going to go through this really fast. Otherwise this video is going to be like two hours long and no one's going to watch it. So mascara by W7. Um, I think it's a European brand and I found it at Winners. They have really good mascaras. This is the second one that I have of theirs. And they're awesome. It's called Lashes Gel Core. Yeah, it's nothing crazy, but it does the job. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I have a lot of makeup brushes in here. Some makeup brushes. Okay, so I have a couple eyeshadow brushes. Um, crease brush, blender, all that fun stuff. Um, I have um, like blush brushes, bronzer, whatever I use these for. Let's use a smaller one. So yes, very fun. Brushes, these are from BH Cosmetics. I got these at Winners too. Okay, I have this. This is a highlighter palette. Um, 
This was the first highlighter palette I ever bought. It is like just like maybe two years old. Not even. Probably just like a year old because I never even wore highlighter until last winter. Um, but I'm trying to just finish it up and use it, use the rest of it. So that's why, oh, I just broke it. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Anyways, sometimes I use it as eyeshadow, like right now. I'm, you can't really see, but I'm wearing highlighter as eyeshadow. Because I find that it just like brightens my eyes. It's from L'Oreal. And it's called True Match Lumi Glow Nude. In Moon Kissed. is the, um, what brand is this? Maybelline Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Gloss in the shade Fuchsia Flicker, but it's just clear, pretty much. It's like pink with sparkles in it. It's almost done. I'm just trying to finish it up. This is the Nude Rose Gold Palette. I can't open it right now. There we go. It's really pretty. There's my background. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like light pinks and whatnot. Very pretty palette. I haven't used it much because I usually just brush highlighter um, for like a quick five minute look. A foundation that I've had forever. Literally have had this for like two years. It never ends. I mean, I use other foundations, so it makes sense that it's still like has stuff in it, but it's just I don't know. I feel like it should have run out by now. So again, I am waiting for this to run out. This is um Maybelline as well. Makeup 24 Hour, that's what it's called. Makeup Maquillage, what? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I just did, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a ColourPop eyeshadow that my best friend gave me. This is in the shade Cheap Date. It's just like a gold color, and again, I will just kind of brush it all over my eyes. Okay. Oh my god, this is never ending. I have a 
another mascara. <laughs> this was a birthday. I think I got this as like a birthday present or something. It's a Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home mascara. Just a little sample. And it doesn't make a good sound. Why do I have so many brushes? Um, this is a ColourPop Navy Blue Eyeliner. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? What just happened? Okay, is it supposed to do this? Like, I don't know what's happening right now. Okay. There we go. Anyway. I'm just gonna put some on. Anyway, that is that. Okay, almost done my makeup here. I have a lip gloss from Essence. I don't know what shade it is. Big Night Out. actually has a bit of color to it. I like it. Okay. I have a cover stick by Essence. And then I have this lip slip by Color Story. I think it's like a lip balm. It looks pink, but it's very faint. It's a very faint pink. <clears throat> Alright, I have this little teeny Smashbox eyeshadow. Um, the colors are turned on and psyched. I think my friend gave this to me. I didn't go for this. Yeah, just these two little colors. Okay, and then other than that, I just have like some hair elastics. Because you never know when you will need a hair elastic. There's makeup is the contents of my makeup bag. Okay, moving on. I have a hairbrush, because you never know when you need to brush your hair. Next, I have. Sorry, that 
as loud I turn off. I go through a lot of Tylenol because of my skin condition. Um, yeah, but I haven't been taking it lately because my pain hasn't been that bad, which is a good thing. I won't shake this around too much because it's pretty loud. These are my sunglasses. So there's like the sunglasses trend, like the big huge ones, and then there's also like the little teeny ones. And I just like the simple old school Ray-Bans, like, I don't know, they look, they look the best on me. Like, I don't have a face that looks good in sunglasses. They look like they have, um, I forget what you call this. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of the word. But yeah, they're just brown with this little, like, animal weird design. I don't know. I'll show you. <laughs> Way too cool for school in these. Next is my wallet. This is a guest wallet. Um, if you watched my video that I posted my bedroom tour, you saw my guest purses. I got this at the same store. Um, it was the guest store in Curacao. And I love this wallet. inside. It's like really pretty. And the only thing I hate is that it's really hard to get cards out. Like sometimes it's really easy right now. Actually, maybe this is, yeah, see, it's really hard to get my license. So I can't always struggle. It's just gonna stay in there right now. This is King Kong. Um, yeah. <laughs> Funny story about that, but we won't go into it. That's King Kong having a dab, by the way. That that's his dabber. The building is his dabber, and that's his dab. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I have. No money. Oh, I have some money. I have like 40 bucks. 20. 35 bucks. Not bad at all. Um, yeah. That's the gist of my wallet. $37, actually. Let's tap on the tea. Okay. I think we're getting near the end here. There can't be much more. Let's see. We got a pen from Best Western. A satin 
and scrunchy. Just never know when you'll need one of these. Okay. No, I am not a Bisco girl, so we're not going to be wearing that on my wrist. Three items left. This is another loud one. So Benadryl. Sometimes I just get weird rashes. I don't know why. So I have Benadryl with me, just in case. But I can't take it if I'm going to be driving because it does make me sleepy. I have this cream from Lush. It's just like a body cream. It's a body conditioner. called Rose Argan. And it was made by Huang. Huang? Huang? dry. I'll just put some on my hands. Okay, the last item in my purse. I'm kind of a little embarrassed to show you, but <laughs> um, yeah, this is my survival kit in a can. <laughs> so there's a lot in this little teeny package. It's a little bigger than a deck of cards. But anyways, I got this at a surplus store. They have lots of like camping gear in my town at the store. And um, I was like convinced that something bad was gonna happen. The economy was gonna collapse. I don't know. Anyways, I bought this like so long ago, like probably seven or eight years ago now. And I haven't had to use it yet, <laughs> which is good. So to open it, you just pull that. So I will tell you what is in it. <clears throat> this contains one compass, two cubes of fire starter, nine Point eight foot multi-use cord, one survival slash first aid information booklet, three feet of multi-use wire, four waterproof matches, 101 feet of fish line slash sewing thread, one bouillon soup packet. There's food in here. Like what? It's eight years old. Does it expire? Anyways, one tea bag, one sugar packet, one matchbook, um, two antiseptic swabs, one razor blade, three twist ties, 12 inches of duct tape, uh, one signal mirror, that is so smart, one Ziploc bag, two adhesive bandages, it's got like something on it, I don't know what that is, anyways, it's just crap from being in my purse for eight years, it's just like food or something, <laughs> um, two nails, did I say two adhesive bandages? Anyway, two safety pins, two fish hooks, one signal whistle, one piece of chewing gum, one sewing needle, one energy candy, one note paper, and one pencil. So, if I ever get stranded somewhere and I have my purse, 
think my odds are pretty good. <laughs> okay. That is it. Yeah, the bag is empty. Nothing left in it. So, thank you for watching my video. you enjoyed going through my purse. Alright, I think I'm gonna film another video actually because I have a lot of energy right now. So, I'm gonna say goodbye to you in this video and I will see you again soon in my next one. Love and light guys.